A quick little update on a series of different economic reports that were released today. So if you guys head on over to techbutsolutions.com, um, you guys will see that we provide you with an economic calendar under trading tools. And as of today, and based off of everything that has been reported, let me go ahead and refresh it just to make sure that we are the most up to date. Um, it's initial claims and continuing claims that were reported and initial claims are the number of people that file for unemployment. Remember, this has been a really big focus for the Federal Reserve. Because remember, our government does a really good job miscalculating how many jobs are actually created. I mean, they have one job and even then they can't get it right. With that being said, initial claims came in as expected. This, are, th this is the number of people that are filing for unemployment for the first time. There's an expectation of 232,000. It came in at 232,000. Nice. Okay, well, continuing claims, the people that continue to file for unemployment, the expectation was, on, um, what was it, like 1.8 million, and it came in at 1.86 million. So with that being said, came in a little bit lower than what is expected. Not too bad. Less people are filing or continuing to file for unemployment than what was originally expected. Existing home sales also report came out today. Uh, came in pretty much as expected, a little bit higher than what was expected for the month of July, meaning that how many properties have been actually sold in the month of July? 3.95 million versus the expectation of 3.94 million. Um, other than that, market is just seeing some selling pressure. Some people are kind of confused on why they're seeing this. I'm not, right? If you look at this on the one hour time frame, this is the big focus. And we'll talk about this in a little bit more detail. I continued and continue to remind my LPP team that we are in this bullish uptrend channel. We have been. We've been forming higher highs and higher lows. That's great. Pay attention to it. The reason why is that if we actively begin to now break below this EMA, which we're super close to do, there has not been one time in the past trading week that we have broken below that EMA and therefore we could enter an active sell-off. It's not anything that you have to freak out about. Just as markets rally, markets then correct themselves, right? As they become very overbought within a short period of time. I am making you aware now so you are not surprised. And it's very easy to see on the one hour time frame on QQQ, or you can even look at SPY depending on what your focus is. But you can see that we have uh, this really bullish channel. We've been validating this EMA. And if we do get the break below that EMA and actively begin to sell off and show signs of progress on the downside, you cannot be surprised if we enter a quick little downturn. NVIDIA does report earnings next week. That could potentially create more buying pressure, more selling pressure, just based off of what is actually reported versus what is actually expected. With that being said, market's overbought. Market is still bullish right now. Don't get me wrong. Market is still bullish. But if we get this break below this EMA, I'm just making you aware, this will be the first time in the past seven to 10 trading days that we have traded below the EMA on the one hour time frame breaking this ascending uptrend channel, which therefore then sell-in pressure can follow and there's opportunity uh, for money to be made on the downside. Other than that, there's really not much that I wanted to talk about um, other than you know, Target did report earnings yesterday. Target quickly gapped up, but then has been selling off ever since it reported earnings. A quick gap up and now actively showing signs of some pullback potential. And then Snowflake today is down 13%. So that's what I had on my radar today. Other than that, markets are pretty much pretty stagnant right now. So remember, the trend is your friend. Make sure that direction is in your favor. If markets begin to downturn, are you going to stay cash? Are you reducing your position size or are you going to short? You don't have to do all of the above. Again, just pick something and create a plan of action. So if markets do begin to pull on back, you know exactly what your course of action is. I'm going to reduce my position. I'm going to stay cash. I'm going to short the market. So again, you create a plan of action before. Not that it has to happen, but that when it does, you are no longer surprised. And also, I did want to remind you guys, we have a huge sale going on right now at shoptechbuds.com or the fourth link in the description down below. All of our aluminum art from our extra, extra large aluminum art to our vertical one, they are all on sale right now. If it's your first order, you can get 20% off. If you buy two, you can get buy one, get one 50% off. So again, we have a wide collection over 100 designs. And if you guys haven't checked it out, especially for all of, all of our motivational or car lovers out there, you guys are going to want to check out our wall art collection. That's at shoptechbuds.com or the fourth link 
in the description down below. Hope to see you for tomorrow's live trading session. And if you ever want to tune on in to watch me trade live, where you get to see all of my entries, all of my exits, and hear my thought process behind every trade I take, that is the second link in the description down below. And prices will be going up in September and they will be doubling. So if you sign up right now, you will get grandfathered in and you will get in for the lower price. Appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.